this is what my heart monitor looks like. Good morning. Welcome to another week in my life. Today's about to be a very long day. It's currently 5.08. I was trying to start getting ready by 5.05. I have an appointment at the hospital this morning to get a halter monitor put on, which is a EKG, like heart monitor thing. I've been having some health issues. I will explain later, but I don't have time to explain right now. I need to just start getting ready because I need to be like walking out the door by 6 20 is my goal. It's 5.08 right now. And I'm gonna try to have all my stuff packed up for school in my car because I don't know exactly what the situation is yet because I might be late for class. I might not be. I might have to come back here and then walk to class because there might not be parking and I don't really feel like stressing over finding a parking spot. So I need to get going because I'm gonna have to straighten my hair because it did not dry straight. Like I said, it's going to be a very long day. I have stuff going on from my appointment at 7 all the way till work ending at 9 p.m. So let's get this day started. So it's just this little patch thing and then if I have symptoms I hit this button. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It was really yit. It was it was really why can I not say red? <laughs> it was really red yesterday because whenever they put it on they take like sandpaper and they sand on your skin to get like any hair and like dead skin off and everything and then they take alcohol and clean it it's like so red and burning but it looks like it's better now but I have that on yesterday was day one and I have it on for seven days total so I couldn't shower last night so I had to wash my armpits and my feet because I was like I'm gonna be smelly <laughs> I will be able to shower tonight so I'll be looking forward to that but I can't I have to try not to get it wet still so that will be interesting but it's not like as big of a deal if it gets a little wet my arm's been going off for like the last 20-25 minutes or so so I need to actually like get moving. I think I'm gonna get dressed I'm Trying to figure out like what to wear so it's not like Pushing on this because whenever I like drive and my seatbelt pushes on it It's so uncomfortable to me wearing the same sports bra I wore yesterday because that way it's Not like pushing on it. It's uncovered and I'll have to remove my shirt for lab because we're doing like thoracic spine and stuff so I want to make sure I have like a sports bra on but the rest of the week I could wear like a normal bra if I need to but I'm just wearing like a t-shirt 
I think because I feel like this should be fine hopefully and not too like tight on it I just don't it's fine for me to wear like a normal shirt it just feels weird whenever it like pushes on it but that's just a me problem also my voice sounds terrible right now I need to get some water I just grabbed my water and I'm, I'm gonna actually I think either listen to a podcast or watch YouTube while I get ready because I don't really have to do anything this morning. It's the same thing as I did yesterday morning. <laughs> I'm home from classes, but I'm so exhausted that I don't even want to do anything. But it's only like 2.30, so I have like tons of time to actually get stuff done. But again, haven't been wanting to do anything. I need to work on this EBP assignment for my research class. And I need to take a quiz. I need to re-listen two lectures. And then I think at work I'm going to study. So I have like four hours till work starts. So like less than four hours before I have to leave. So I feel like I probably, if I use my time wisely, could get stuff done but the other part of me just wants to um, go on my phone. So I think I'm going to maybe set a timer and try to get a little bit done. I think I can get my EVP thing done and then maybe take my neuro quiz and then we'll see how I feel at that time. Maybe I'll take a little break and I can go on my phone for a little bit. Or I could just get all this done and then go on my phone. I'm going home this weekend so I probably should get stuff done. I'm just so exhausted. I feel like it's been the longest week Ever. But the issue is I don't want to stop listening to music so I think I can probably like listen to music while I work on my EVP assignment. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do because I can definitely look at this and also be listening to something like it doesn't take a lot of thought. It's just a matter of me putting numbers onto this spreadsheet. I think that's the plan then. And then hopefully I am productive at work tonight but we'll see what happens. <laughs>45 but I cannot get myself up but I've been awake and out of bed since like 6 and I ate some breakfast and made my coffee and I need to get dressed now I need to like start moving because I've been distracted on my phone last night I spent a long time picking out what I was gonna wear because we have like an IPE event which is an interprofessional event I think is what it stands. Basically, it's like when us PT students collaborate with other students in like other medical schools. So it's with the occupational therapy students. We're gonna like collaborate together to work with like a patient or whatever. We're not like actually, it's like a, I don't know how to describe it. Usually we have like a mock, not a mock patient, but like a person that comes in and we use their case as an example. And then we kind of like discuss it and create like a treatment plan for it. So that's what we're doing today. And I also have class before that and after it. So I'm gonna wear these light gray pants and this navy um, long sleeve or like quarter sleeve shirt. I'll just show it when it's on. But I'm wearing that today and I think I might just wear it all day because I don't feel like bringing clothes to change. But yeah, I need to get moving and get off of TikTok, so probably gonna listen to music while I get ready. I also need to make sure I bring my lunch because I like kind of started packing it last night but I don't know if I fully packed it so I'm gonna have to make sure I don't forget it. I already made my bed too. I just didn't pull the camera out when I first woke up. So let's get our day started. <music> Now, I was running late this morning when I got out the door, but this is what I ended up wearing. Um, it's kind of all untucked now, but I wore this navy like shirt with these light gray pants and then I wore my blue Nikes. Um, but I took my hair out too. I had it in two braids in back, but now my hair feels so greasy, so I need to 
shower and wash it and it's going to be challenging because I'm not supposed to get this wet so last time I put like a washcloth over it and just kind of like held the washcloth with one hand and then tried to wash my hair with the other and it was very challenging so we'll see how that goes also don't mind my pile of clothes that are on my bed I need to clean up that mess i'm going to i think get a shower make some dinner i don't know what order i might make dinner first i don't know yet we're having a very college dinner tonight i'm gonna have mac and cheese and dino nuggets i'm pretty sure um because i just need to make something easy also i don't know we'll see what else i have we might have to change it up depending on what i need to eat um i'm going home tomorrow so i need to pack some stuff up tonight get everything ready i'm gonna stop here before i go home because i want to get a package from the office and then i will head on home because i'm going home to see my sisters play this weekend which i'm very excited for i need to get some stuff done and i'm already on youtube which is bad but after i finish this video i'm going to get a shower maybe i'll make dinner while i'm watching this video so that I'm doing something productive. I'm in like a weird mood right now. It's like kind of like a lower mood. I don't really know why, but I mean, there is reasons why I just don't feel like sharing it. But yeah, I just, if I seem off, that's why. So I'm trying to kind of get my mood up and whatever. I might journal for a little bit or something. Um, I've been doing this thing that I like to call reflective writing or I don't even know I have like a little thing in my notes on my phone that I write stuff in I've only written like two things in there but basically I call it or I've written three I call it like my creative reflections and it's almost like a version of journaling but more like creative so whether it's like a poem or a little short story kind of thing or it could just be me word vomiting basically I need to eat shower and maybe journal if I'm not feeling better. I also need to make a to-do list of what I need to get done this weekend. I'm feeling a little bit stressed because I have a skills check next week and I feel like I need to practice this weekend, but I won't be here because I'll be home and I need like the equipment to practice. So that's stressing me out a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to come back on Sunday a little bit earlier so I can practice. Yeah, I just feel a little bit off, so. Also, my camera's gonna die, so I need to change the battery. Oh, my hair feels so disgusting. Hopefully you can't see how greasy it is because oh, it's been a long day. It's like 6.50, yeah. And I am working on like getting ready and packing at the same time. I'm wearing this shirt that we have. It's for our pro bono um, clinic that we have at our school. And let me see if I can get a video of the back. The back says, so as I was saying, it depends. Like, so as the muscle, very punny. It's like the saying that is said a lot in physical therapy. It depends because every patient's different. And oops, my AirPod just, took a tumble um every situation is different but i'm bringing this gray zip up just in case i get cold and i'm just wearing sweatpants and i gotta get some shoes to wear since i'm going home after lab i think i'm stopping here maybe after to grab a package yeah i'm pretty sure i'm gonna stop here after grab my package and bring it to my apartment and then i'm gonna drive home and i still haven't start even started packing my car up at all so i'm gonna do that right now and see if i can get it all packed up before i'm done with class that way i don't have to pack it after class so that's the plan and um i'm gonna pack this up so i guess i'll see you guys once i get home yeah i just hopefully the weather is okay i saw that we have some rain so i'm hoping the weather isn't too bad for my drive home i'm very excited to go watch my sisters play i need to ask how it was last night because last night was the first night of it but yeah i'm really excited and i need to get to packing i can't think of a more perfect time for my huskies to be being obnoxious maybe you won't be able to hear them because i hooked up the microphone but don't mind me and my little tiny microphone here so i want to get this vlog finished because this vlog is back from march actually but i never explained in the video why 
I like got a heart monitor or anything um which I don't know it was just a crazy week so I just never got to it but basically I was having like some episodes well I don't let's go back like growing up and everything I've had like a higher heart rate but I never thought it was weird until people used to started to say things like oh wow your heart rate is really high or your heart rate like goes up really high I remember in gym class when we had to have heart rate monitors even in high school I could just like literally walk and I'd be in the zone or like sometimes just like stand up and I'd be in the zone like I barely even had to exercise to get in like the heart rate zone so even starting off at that young like I was like whatever but I mean I didn't think really anything crazy of it I just thought that's just whatever so keep that in mind I guess but I had a break from school and when I was home that week I started realizing that I got really bad these episodes or whatever you want to call them I started having them before this but then it got really bad during that break so basically every time I would like stand up I would get like extremely dizzy and um my heart rate would increase sometimes um um I wasn't really paying that much attention but sometimes I would realize that my heart rate would like go up really high when I would stand up and I was like sometimes like losing my vision or like things like that when I would stand up um similar to how they explain like iron deficiency so that was one thing I was like oh maybe it's iron so I started taking an iron supplement actually and it didn't seem to get better but I just kept taking it kept taking it just to see if maybe after taking it a while if it would be better so then I ended up going to um the health center at my school and they kind of listened to my heart and whatever and she kind of heard some irregularities so she's like yeah I definitely need you to go get um like an EKG and stuff so I did like blood work and EKG which is what they do first just to make sure there's nothing like crazy happening or anything that's happening with my basically anything else I could kind of explain it that we'd see in the blood work so we did the blood work and everything came back pretty normal I had one my vitamin like b12 was too high but that's because I was taking a supplement so I stopped taking that because obviously I don't need it and then um my iron was normal which is one thing that I was kind of looking at because if it's iron deficiency then um that could be what was causing it but everything with red blood cells and iron and everything checked out good everything looked good so then um same with the one it's like a one minute EKG I think they do everything looked normal on that um so then they proceeded with doing the heart monitor so that allowed them to see like over a whole week if anything crazy happened and then um it also allowed me to be able to click like a button every time I was having symptoms um so that they could track that too basically with those results there wasn't anything crazy happening like nothing life-threatening nothing whatever I don't have them pulled up with me and this was like kind of a while back so I'll try to remember off of memory but I know there was like a few things in there nothing crazy but there was um just like some I literally think it might have only been a few times but like ectopic um um, electrical activity or whatever in my atria like maybe a few times or whatever nothing crazy um nothing to really even worry about um the one thing that I personally thought was weird but the doctors didn't say it was abnormal was that my heart rate did go up like really high at some points and I wasn't even working out this week or anything because I wasn't supposed to like sweat a lot so there was times where my heart rate was like 190 and stuff like that it's like I can't think of a reason why it should be up that high but um they didn't flag it for anything so I guess it's nothing that the doctor's concerned about so basically um with the monitor and everything no crazy results with that it was kind of mostly normal I guess you could say but yeah I don't know basically I would need to go to a cardiologist next is what I would need to do and actually get like more tests done and since there's nothing like electrically wrong or anything like that it seems um the next thing that they would test me for is probably POTS which um that is 
what the health center was thinking because they tested me for like orthostatic hypotension and stuff like that and the only thing they noticed is that my heart rate went up really high during that test but my blood pressure was normal so yeah that's what they would basically test next and right now I just don't I know it would take a while to get into a cardiologist and I just don't think it's super necessary for me to go get that done and to pay for that and everything like my parents would probably pay for it but I honestly just feel bad because I don't think it's really necessary because that is basically the only like there was nothing like life-threatening or anything crazy happening if anything maybe it is POTS and um it's obviously not severe because I didn't have full passing out episodes so I think it's something I can even manage on my own that's something I can look into myself and kind of manage if that's something I want to do but yeah I just want to give you an update so I wasn't like leaving you hanging not explaining I don't want anybody to be like worried or anything like I'm fine um yes it's still I still have good days and bad days where I have like episodes or what I don't know what to call it but it seems like the only thing happening is like my heart rate's increasing so uh it can be on days that I'm not even really anxious or stressed either so I don't think it's anxiety um and I stopped taking iron because it I took it for a while and it did not make a difference in it at all so there's no reason for me to take it basically um but yeah sorry that's kind of a long explanation I probably should have thought that out a little more before explaining it but I'm fine everything's fine um well I don't know if everything's fine but nothing is life-threatening so I'm okay but um it feels better to kind of have like that confirmation at least that nothing crazy is wrong and at this time that's kind of all I'm gonna go with I'm not really gonna look into it more if I do if it seems to like get worse or something maybe I will um but I might just do some more research in it myself. The one thing I do know is like salt can help. So when I was having like bad episodes or sometimes when I am having like days where it's not good, I will <laughs> just literally either eat salt or like have like a salty snack or whatever. The other thing that kind of was like interesting, which sorry, I'm all over the place again, is that during the week where I was having those episodes um, where I was like almost passing out when I was standing up, I was craving salt like so much so I just think that's kind of interesting since apparently that is something you are supposed to eat more of to get more sodium but yeah just wanted to include that update in here and if you stayed all the way to the end of this you are a real one and um, if you aren't already subscribed then um, it would mean a lot to me if you did subscribe I am trying to be posting regularly at least once a week sometimes two times a week if I'm feeling like I want to post extra but yeah that is everything for today's video I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and lots of fun videos to come I'll see you guys in the next one Alexa started listening to me but I said that I would see you guys in my next video <laughs> bye